Inspired by his grandfather, a Quaker, and his father, Sri Ban Bihari Vishnu Nimkar returned to India to take up farming after completing his higher education in the U.S. His marriage to Zai Karve from the philanthropic Karve family further strengthened Sri Nimkar's spirit of nationalism. He set up the Nimkar Agricultural Research Institute, NARI, in 1968 to use the best tools of science and technology for solving rural problems, Sri Nimkar has been instrumental in increasing crop and animal productivity and taking their benefits directly to farmers and animal rearers. With help from Rockefeller Foundation, Sri Nimkar set up a seed company and was able to grow thousands of acres of seed crops, process them and market the seeds all over India. He mobilized farmers to organize lift irrigation schemes and 14 lift irrigation schemes were designed and set up. Sweet sorghum was another crop introduced in India by Sri Nimkar and work on this along with that on safflower is continuing at Nari with the support of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. Realizing that the farming areas had lost their fertility and the only option was to grow grass for ruminants and profitably raise them, Sri Nimkar focused his attention on animal husbandry. Genes from the Garol breed of sheep were introduced into the Deccani sheep, so they would produce two lambs instead of one and help shepherds increase their income significantly. This resulted in the production of the Nari Suvarna. 20 embryos of the Boer goat were imported from Australia with the support of Oz Aid. The introduction of these crossbred Boer goats is resulting in a large increase in productivity and profitability for goat owners. Sri Ban Bihari Vishnu Nimkar observes everything that ails Indian farms and tries to fix it by bringing the best of global research to India and to Fulton. the dignitaries on the dais, and ladies and gentlemen. I am greatly honored and humbled to receive the Jamnalal Bajaj Award for application of science and technology for rural development on behalf of my father. I will now read out uh, his speech to you. I thank the Jamnalal Bajaj Foundation for selecting me for this prestigious award. I express my deep regret and apologies that I cannot be present in person to accept the award. However, as my daughters have worked alongside me and are working to bring to fruition my ideas and take forward the work I started, it is fitting that they should accept the award on my behalf. Since my retirement from active work, I have been reading many books, including the biographies of my and my wife's ancestors. From these readings, I have come to the conclusion that to make my future activities more meaningful, I need to acquire more partners in my research for development, make my objectives more fundamental and holistic and change my method of working. The first activity for which we need partners is the development of new technologies for producing highly nutritious and palatable fodder in large quantities for cattle, buffaloes, sheep and goats. This technology has been recently developed in Australia by scientists of the University of Queensland. We hope that our partners in Maharashtra will be the agricultural and animal husbandry departments and the state farming corporation of the government of Maharashtra, 
who possess large areas of unutilized land all over the state. This activity has become of great importance because the government of Maharashtra has banned the slaughter of unproductive cattle and has also taken the responsibility to look after these cattle and that will require large quantities of fodder. I would also like to take further the activity we have carried out on a small scale, which is the import of germplasm of high milk producing goats from Cyprus and sheep from Israel for upgrading local animals. There are two other small projects I would like to carry out. The first one is the dissemination of seedlings of trees that flower all year round, making available nectar and pollen for honeybees. The second one is to start a buffalo development program to improve the availability of protein. During the past month, I have started with the help of one of my granddaughters to write articles in a Marathi daily agricultural newspaper about research done abroad that is likely to be useful to farmers here. The Jamnalal Bajaj Award has provided me great encouragement to continue to pursue my dreams. So I thank them again and end my speech. Thank you very much. <laughs>